So here we are, we got us a load. It's local load. So it's like if if these weren't like two in a row, I wouldn't do them by themselves. That's how like I see them posted single at a time, one at a time, but I just can't go 14 maybe 20 miles that way and 20 miles back that's 40 miles and then I run six miles to make 200 that's not good you know so I was able to catch two of them which are gonna be pretty much back to back I haven't opened the hood on this truck in weeks man <laughs> she's still looking pretty good there's a little bit of a it might be showing no I think that's because I was I did an overhead so when they did the overhead they probably didn't clean it all the way so but it's been a long time since I opened up this hood I'm glad I'm not seeing no spots down there no evidence so I'm real happy about that there's none nowhere so hopefully the tires like I I drive by it every now and then just to take a little peek see what it looks like what I'm worried about because it's, she's not running what the heck she's not running that some of the axle seals and stuff like that they're gonna start leaking when the axle seals sit too long because right here I mean you're always gonna have you're always gonna have some kind of space in between that axle seal right so and you, you're always gonna have some kind of clearance in there somewhere. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So if it sits too long, that rubber, the lip on that axle seal becomes a little bit starting to wear out, starting to wear out, and that's how they start leaking when they sit too long. That's why it's better to actually run it and move it every now and then. She's been sitting for almost a month now. I say, yeah, I say almost a month. <laughs> I think I just went in there and turned it over and she started, but she might have, but I did go here, I would say a couple weeks ago and started it up for about 30 minutes. Now, we all park out here, right? It's like a dirt lot when you got all of these trucks around here. Now, I put my truck a little bit closer out here towards away from the concrete so these guys can park. At first, at first glance, I thought this freaking guy done blocked me in because I can't get out of there and I could possibly get stuck over there, but I don't think so. But at least overall, people out here are considerate enough, you know, I, at least he gave me that little hole where I can back out of there. Well, here we go. It's time to finally try this thing. So supposedly eight ounces per 200 gallons. So I'm gonna, why is this thing leaking? So I'm gonna go, it actually has a measurement there. I'm gonna go four ounces each tank. Let's try it out. Kind of smells a little weird. It doesn't smell like some kind of, like your conventional inject, injector cleaner. So, like I said, a lot of people swear by this thing, man. Hopefully it works. Well, the good thing is we now have a fully filled tank. And got that chemical in, hopefully, hopefully. I mean, it's like, it, it hasn't been giving me no problems, but it's supposedly, it's supposed to uh, burn the fuel a lot better. You'll have a lot less uh, 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 that black stuff, so. I hope it works. I mean, a lot of, like I said, a lot of people swear by it, so we'll see. 
because this truck usually asks for a regen I want to say probably every 4,000 miles yeah I'd say around 4,000 miles the damn thing asks for a regen around 4,000 maybe 5,000 actually no 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 I take that back probably around seven or eight thousand I have to say I know I've only traveled like a few miles with this additive this thing man but I am very impressed I can tell the difference I mean usually she starts to run a little bit more rough when I put some miles in her like let's say she's driven like 600 miles for the day uh, but man, I can tell the difference if she feels a little different I mean it might be my mind is playing tricks with me you know but she definitely sound a little different but you know how I always say is that you have to know you have to study your truck you have to know your truck yeah. so when this truck acts different I know right away so if you are operating your truck long enough you would know if you're paying attention at least and operating it long enough you would know what the tendencies of that engine would be and how it should run you know every single engine will wear a little different based on the usage and how it was used you know me I didn't buy this truck brand new therefore I had to learn it you know what I mean so uh, I don't know how it was ridden or how it was uh, how it was revved up or anything like that what kind of RPMs it ran and whatnot so but I feel like I know this engine very well and I feel like that I don't think my mind is messing with it you know or with me but I feel like she definitely sounds different better in a different way and definitely have a little bit of different odor uh, the other the exhaust smells a little bit different it smells a little bit more pure so maybe that stuff do work you know I mean a lot of people swear by it so I've been in trucking for over eight years now and I must say that what in the heck how do you do this like how this I, <laughs> how you know I mean that's a spread axle okay it looks like a 53 spread axle and before you even get to that rear axle and evidently you can tell he freaking took off the first axle already that's insanity like <laughs> what the heck man like do we not look in the mirror i mean did we teach these guys not to look in the mirror what i i hope he was just maybe going too fast <laughs> I had to show you that. Overall, that wasn't so bad. It took about three and a half hours to do all of them, so. You know, we'll take it. We'll take it. And plus, it keeps us in the house. And we don't have to work that hard, so it's not so bad. So far, what I see with this max mileage thing, it, it looks like it's, it's, it, it might be a pretty good outcome. I can tell. I mean, I know it's just a short-term thing. We'll see in the long term, but I can feel that there is a difference in the way the truck is performing. So, unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of load to do right now. <laughs> I mean, we can. I can probably go out and just make decent money, but like I said, I can't. You know, so we'll just try to stick it out out here and see how this goes. You know until uh when maybe when she's uh, uh when when the baby is born and then probably sees at home for a few months and we'll probably try to get a few days out here and there you know but until next time we'll see you guys